This bakery is very much a family owned and operated enterprise. My grandparents started here in 1974. Tradition is very important to the Italian community as a whole, and our cultural traditions are very much a part of who we are. While some things have changed, we haven't really changed how we do things. We haven't changed how we operate, haven't changed how we make things, certainly haven't changed how we serve our customers. Because without them, we're absolutely nothing. Hands down, we're known for our bread. This bread is very much traditional Italian bread. It is rustic and it's made the way your grandmother would have made it at home, albeit with a really amazing oven that we've just imported from Italy this past September. So Italian bread is crusty, so you just grab it, break it, don't cut it, you just break it and eat it. You wanna hear the crunch, you wanna feel how gorgeous that crust is, and then you want this soft inside. Coming through those doors the very first time, you're going to feel like you've been here before and you're going to feel like all the team members know you. And I think that is what really sets us apart from a lot of other businesses. It's about the experience. When we have customers come in, they're very much concerned with what they're buying. Where did this product come from? What's in this product? Our bread does not have a shelf life that's going to last a week because there's nothing unnatural in it to preserve it and that's why it tastes so good and that's why we have so many customers that come in every day to buy it fresh. My dad used to always order Armando's. He's been ordering it since he was a kid. It was started by Tony and Armando Girardi. They came here from Italy and they started a little small spot over on Walker Road. And uh, we just passed 50 years of being in business. I was a 15 year old kid folding boxes in the basement. And once I realized this is what I was going to do, that's when I decided, okay, I'm going all in now. If you're coming to the Armando's Pizza Bar, you could expect to see some great quality pizzas, some classic traditions, and some really off-the-wall wild pizzas. Windsor-style pizza is galotti cheese, shredded pepperoni, canned mushrooms. We give the dough usually a 16-hour cold fermentation, helps develop flavor. It's gonna be nice and soft, but it's gonna have some resistance when you stretch it too. We use galotti cheese. It's special, I think, to me and maybe to the people of Windsor. It's made from all the milk from Essex County. The shredded pepperoni is an interesting thing. So when you meet people from outside of Essex County, you even go to Chatham, they're not shredding pepperoni. When you see round pepperonis, the grease just sits in the little cup. When it's shredded, that grease releases to the whole pizza. When pizza started in this area, there were no mushroom farms. So you had no choice but to use a canned mushroom. And that's something that kind of just stuck. We won Windsor Best Pizzeria three years in a row now. We won uh, number one pizza in Canada. Love is the secret ingredient. I feel like a chef looks at a plate like this is his opportunity to, to paint a picture. Well, the pizza dough is the exact same thing for me. It's limitless. Your imagination is the only thing holding you back. Back in 2002, uh, when we looked around the city of Windsor, there wasn't too many fine dining places, so uh, we decided to do a white tablecloth restaurant in the heart of Via Italia. When dining out, we're finding a lot more customers are uh, a lot more attention to details, so they want a nice wine glass uh, to drink out of, they want nice cutlery, they want a white tablecloth, they want a professional server, uh, and then, you know, quality of food made from scratch. When you walk into our place, uh, you're greeted nicely at the door and then you have a choice of either having a pre-dinner drink in the lounge area or just go right to your table. It's a people watching place, so everywhere you sit and stand inside Mezzo, you can see through things. When we first opened the restaurant, we definitely wanted to influence some of the southern and northern Italian cuisine, but to have some international dishes as well, so we call ourselves almost nouveau Italian. We really want to focus on quality, so the quality of food is, is, is for sure number one. Coming to Mezzo, you know, you're not just dining here for the food, but you're, you're definitely trying some local uh, wines, uh, spirits, and beer as well. 
A lot of people don't know, but we do have over 20 wineries in uh, this area. There's also over 10 microbreweries that have just opened up in the last five to 10 years. And then for your liquors and spirits, we do carry Canadian Club, which is a distillery in Windsor, and then Wolfhead has opened up in the last few years as well. We do like to support local as much as we can. A lot of people call us the celebration place. When you dine at Metsu, you get the full dining experience from start to finish. In the Italian tradition, there's always two things. There's, there's wine and love. Brawley Cellars is a, a winemaking facility in Windsor. We supply grapes and juices from different parts of the world for customers to bottle and produce their own wines for home consumption. It's been around for quite a while, since uh, 1948 actually. My grandfather, Frank, uh, was the original owner. Uh, when he immigrated uh, to Windsor from Italy, he quickly got into the wine business. And over the last 70 years, it's continued in the family. We offer over 30 varietals of wine between reds, whites, and rosés. It's a pretty simple process. Um, we use all natural grape juices, so uh, the customer comes in, selects a varietal of wine. The wine is uh, fermented, uh, filtered, and aged here for approximately six to eight weeks. Uh, the customer returns at that point for a date uh, for bottling of the wine. And when they return, they bottle, cork, label, and cap their wines and take them home when I think wine, the first thing that comes to mind is a tradition. It's a special part of celebrations and, and dinners and meals. It's very rare that you don't see a bottle of wine uh, on an Italian table. We definitely want to showcase what Windsor has to offer. We have literally everything, microbreweries, we have the wineries, an amazing waterfront. So Little Italy is kind of a cool spot because it's, it's kind of a mix of new and old. It's kind of interesting we're seeing a, a resurgence and a lot of new operators coming in. This district is over 50 years old and it very much echoes back to that sentiment that we are steeped in tradition. It's present in our restaurants, it's present at the wine stores, it's present here at our bakery. I think people from outside of this region might not think of it as pizza. Pizza is a big deal for us. But when you come to Windsor, you can expect to experience something that maybe you wouldn't be able to get anywhere else.